Hey everyone, I'll be covering all of the Nintendo Switch's games announced for the first week of December, so let's get started. Adventure an expansive world with a large cast of allies and caravan stories. Create your character, what role you wish to fulfill, and what you desire the most then set out on the vast world of Lear, where adventure awaits around every corner with 6 playable races and nearly 300 recruitable allies ready to land a helping hand. Build up your caravan, sort out your armor needs, and set off in 6 player parties to face off against the ever encroaching darkness. After going radio silent for almost all of 2020, Bethesda is finally confirming that Doom Eternal is set to release December 22nd on the Nintendo Switch. A digital copy of Doom 64 will be included in the Rip and Tear pack, also including a new skin, an option to play remixed versions of the campaign levels with new added challenges, a set of new combat encounters, and a new shotgun. Awake as a legendary hero in a quest to regain his memory. Learn to survive by cultivating the land, breeding and catching fish, befriending the locals, expanding your village, and crafting weaponry for combat scenarios. Train Magnus, magical monsters inhabiting the roaming land paramount to your success of learning who you truly are when RE Legend releases next spring. Elad's team finally confirmed that Skyforge is ready to release on February 4th of next year. This massive sci-fi focused MMORPG will receive a new Founders Pack exclusively for Switch with some gear only available for early adopters. Those who also embark on the early tutorial missions will receive a Cyber Warrior costume to deck out your immortals in style. Choose your favorite character and embark on your own unique journey in Saga Frontier Remastered, a PlayStation 1 classic now cleaned up for modern consoles. Each of the eight characters have different goals and endings. Your choices affect how events unfold, allowing you to see story parts tucked away in previous runs. On top of a new set of visual improvements, this remaster also boasts several music changes, localization efforts, and quality of life improvements. The Doraemon games keep coming to the Switch, and this time it's Doraemon Nobita's Little Star Wars 2021, a party game featuring the story and even characters for the upcoming animated film. Enjoy several mini games that let you experience scenes from the movie for up to four players. And for competitive or fun party co op or versus with simple intuitive controls making use of all the Joy Cons features. Use your camera and your wits to get to the bottom of Rainy Woods Mystery by taking photos for the Morning Bell newspaper to complete commissions. Doing a good job means paying off your outstanding debt, and with some cash in pocket, explore the town to get to know the locals do part-time jobs, and find out what the secretive hound has to offer when the good life releases next summer. Based on the very popular anime Yuru Camp, Laid Back Camp Virtual Lake Motosu and Fumoso Campsite are two virtual camping adventure games set to release later this winter. Get a taste of the great outdoors from the comfort of your own home as the characters from the anime. Together, Nadeshiko and Rin embark on a trip to enjoy life and each other's company. The RBI Baseball series has been ongoing on the Nintendo Switch for a few years now, and it comes to no surprise the RBI Baseball 2021 is set to release next spring. Not much is known about the games yet regarding new features, although interestingly enough, because MLB The Show is expected to release on multiple consoles this upcoming year, we might finally have two baseball ongoing series on the system. Mercenaries Blaze Dawn of the Twin Dragons originally released in Japan all the way back in October, and on December 17th is finally getting its western release, including a lengthy campaign with an expansive turn-based strategic combat and a fascinating story. Grow your team by clearing out maps and turn each one of them into the Warrior of Destiny. Offering fully integrated 3D battle maps alongside improved visuals, performance upgrades, and audio changes from the previous Japanese release. The Steam Darling Synthetic Ultimate pits you against relentless enemies and unforgiving bosses encased in ever-changing environments. Master the unique, deep, satisfying weapon mechanics with tons of customization options. Discover a bevy of weapon choices, perks, character upgrades, and playing styles. Choose from over 11 modular difficulty options, letting you tailor the game however you see fit in any moment. Pixel Junk Eden 2 has been delayed several times over but this past week we finally got confirmation that it's set to release on December 10th. Return to the spectacular, ever-changing gardens of psychedelic sights and sounds as you cultivate new plants and biomes. Collect pollen to help seeds sprout new exotic leaves and bloom, all against a dynamic backdrop of vibrant colors and a mellow chill mood. 
the 80s themed isometric story driven action RPG Kingdom of Night offers an expansive interconnected map and open ended quest systems, a coming of age story of cosmic horror and true love. Choose your class, battle nightmarish creatures, customize your abilities, collect new equipment and infiltrate massive lairs, all to take down the almighty demon lord. Hibari's wealthy grandfather is determined to find her a husband, and she is just as determined to not accept, while being forced to live in a luxurious villa with a hand-picked set of suitors returning an engagement. The only way to find out is in the visual novel Variable Barricade, set to release next year. In Daidoku, Shino's ability to perceive ghosts lands her a job at the secret government agency tasked with overseeing the supernatural yokai. But even she was not prepared for an assignment to the whereabouts of a hidden world where she must unify and watch over the yokai and unify them all under the same banner. Step into the arena as a member of the Gravity of Heroes, taking on hordes of synthetic enemies as you attempt to restrike the balance between man and machine in a futuristic war torn world. Unleash your unique abilities to cut down enemies, collect power ups, new weapons, and deploy new tactics to change the tide of battle in your favor, stand united against the relentless enemy forces starting next spring. The Bed Trip series started all the way back in 2009 on the Wii as a WiiWare set of games, and on December 25th, six of these classes are coming to the Nintendo Switch eShop. Bed Trip Beat, Core, Void, Runner, Fate, and Flux will all be sold separately or as a Bit Trip collection bundle, each offering bite-sized short experiences with their own gameplay modes, mechanics, and their very own ideas. The action platforming memory game hybrid Killer Chambers has you surviving in a small room fitted with traps until one turn of the hourglass. Leave nothing to chance, every trap pattern is made to be challenging yet fun to solve, requiring quick reflexes that may not be the only way to make it out alive. Wits and memory also play a massive role in surviving the over 40 or so levels. Autumn's Journey is a visual novel about friendship, growth, and understanding. Aura Lee is an aspiring knight from town as he stumbles upon something unexpected in one of his patrols. He meets Kerr, the earth dragon, and the mythical beast of just one of many in the entire world. Aura Lee offers to help him and the two set off on a mission to regain the dragon's true form. In Olympia Sorie, Olympia is one of the last ones in her clan, seeking to perform a ritual to return light to the darkened world. Struggling within this society's strict class system, she must find a partner to help her bring unity to the land and a gorgeous visual novel weaving a tale of sadness and depression to happiness and uprising. The Crack Pet Show is a high power hybrid bullet hell shooter and vehicular mayhem game with easy to understand controls and physics driven competition. You and your friend's goal is to defeat as many enemies as possible, closing all the mayhem and conquering the bosses. Team up with 4 player local co op to hack and slash your way through enemies together. Hexbrosia 2 is a non linear old school shmup with the classic trimmings of upgrades, boss fights, and new game plus options. Wrapping itself up in a retro package with a clean pixel art, chip tunes, and fast, hectic gameplay. And that's what the game announcements will be covering this week. A tons of cell data is starting to come out describing how massive November was for the Nintendo Switch going up against the two massive new next gen systems. According to most analysts, the Switch has a really good shot about selling both the Xbox Series consoles and the PlayStation 5 worldwide in November, and that would be monumental. Sure, stock issues are plaguing the other two, but when the hype of a now almost 4 year old system is so great that it's ready to compete in that level, it speaks volumes. While I'm glad that so many people are now realizing what a great library the system has, I am a bit worried that this will make Nintendo ever more complacent to not release an upgraded model next year as is rumored. I hope that's not the case. I also recently put out a new Winter's Game lineup covering all the biggest releases from December all the way going into March of 2021. It's safe to say that there are no shortcomings when it comes to the early months of 2021 when it comes to new experiences on the Switch. So with all that said, as per always, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate the support and be sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. See ya!